Oh, hello. I didn't realise you were there. I'm just making breakfast. Uh, my usual toast and marmalade. Trouble is these days, people say that uh, the bread tastes more like cardboard. I don't believe that myself. Today, some people complain about modern bread, saying that, um, well, it's, it's lost its taste really, I suppose, in comparison to the old days. Still, I, I always uh, just say, well, it's, there's nothing wrong with this sort of stuff. And it keeps forever, really. Maybe they're right. But there is a way to get wonderful bread, and that's to bake it yourself using wholemeal stone ground flour that you can get from places like Newhall Valley Watermill. The mill has four floors, each has a function, but first let's see it in action. The water wheel is the overshoot type. All of the water mill is powered by the big wheel, which drives the pulleys and the belts of all the machinery. This is where the flour will eventually end up. The sack lift lifts the grain to the garden room, which is on the fourth floor. The grain hopper is where the grain first enters the milling system. The miller calls for more grain by ringing the bell. On the third floor, the grain is first cleaned with the aspirator. And cleaned again on the stone floor by the hand winnower. Finally, the grain is fed into the millstones. The top stone is rotated by the power of the water mill wheel. The bottom stone remains stationary. To see what the face of the millstones actually look like. Finally, on the first floor, we can see all the gearing that the mill wheel actually drives. Miller goes to inspect the flower. And yes, there it is. There's the flower coming now. Ah, oh, good morning. You come for breakfast again, I see. You've obviously smelt the bread. Mmm, just smell that. Mmm, now that's what I call toast.